on to the nickels in this typeset. Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So let's move on to nickels in this typeset. And again, from my LCS. It's a Liberty Head 1883 with the no scent. Yeah, this just ain't picking up right. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. No sense. I think the only year they made them that way. Very nice. Actually in better condition than my next piece, which is... The Liberty Head. It's a 1910. This one does say sense on it. There we go. And we move on to Buffalo Niggle. 1937. Just 1937, nothing spectacular. Just a hole filler. And then we have a, what is this, 1945? P, war nickel. A war nickel. So we got some silver here, 35%. Wish I had a better looking one to put in there, but I don't have too many spare ones around. I got the complete date mint run set in the capital holder. It was good enough for me. I normally don't collect those nickels. And then what? Just a regular Jefferson? A 2003. A 2003 Philly. So, five more holes to be filled in the Dansko 77 typeset. We'll be right back to show you those holes filled. All right, we got them into the book. So, there's that Liberty Head 1883 No Sense. Right next to the Liberty Head, that does say Sense. We do not have the Buffalo 1913 variety one yet. Obviously, got a regular Buffalo, Variety 2, the Jefferson to date, and we got that War Nickel in there. So, just five holes filled this time. And there's the first page that we've been working on. A lot of holes in that one yet. Yeah, this is going to take some time, but you do it a little by a little. You're going to be amazed how far you can get. This series will be continually updated on the United States typeset, Dansko 77. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.